And to become Muslim, as you say, you say the Shahada, which you probably heard about already. You say, you say it exactly. You say it in Arabic. You say it in English, which, which is literally, I believe, there's no one worthy of worship except God, Allah, and the Prophet Muhammad is his final messenger, which you already believe. Okay. And from that point, all your previous, how old are you now? 37. 37 years of your life, all your sins are wiped clean. Newborn baby. New life. An amazing, honestly, it brings that peace that a person is looking for and that sense of direction and stability that people are looking for in their lives when they won't find, is, find this in any other place. They will never find it until they have that connection directly with their Creator. Without any person in between you and Allah, when you have that connection, it will, it will give you that peace in your heart, 100%. Give you a it, is, it, will, it will give you a new life, honestly. It will transform you as a person. People around you will see you and think, wow, that was the same person I knew yesterday. And this is what Islam will transform a person. If you have that belief, manifest. We can do that now. We can do that now. It's, there's not, you say there's nothing holding you back. You believe these things already. The Shahada, which is what it is, is, is that. And then after that, obviously, we pray. Because we have that connection. Look, if I was to give you, for example, if I was to give you if I was to give you something like, I don't know, something valuable. If I gave you a car, for example, I gave you a, a Lamborghini. I said, all I want you to do is just call me five times a day. Today. Just say, just, just give me a call five times a day. Yeah? yeah? yeah. Just to show gratitude. Yeah? Now imagine who gave you your eyes? Who yeah. gave you your everything we have? Yeah? If I said, I'll take that Lamborghini, or you can have the Lamborghini, but just give me one of your eyes. Would you give me that? Would you give me an eye just for that, for that Lamborghini? Never. It's more valuable than that, than that car. God gave us our, ourselves and everything we have, all the blessings for free. And He just wants us to thank Him five times a day. We take 10 minutes. We just pray here ourselves five times a day. We have that connection with Him every single day. We put our, no matter what jobs we have, no matter what place we are in society, we put our heads on the ground and acknowledge that He is the one who deserves that praise. That He is the one who deserves that gratitude. This is what Islam, that connection that, that it gives that person. And it reminds him, that don't, don't become arrogant just because today you have something. Remember yesterday when you were nothing and God brought you into this world. Yeah, into this world from nothing and He gave you everything. You were a baby, you were dependent on, on every, everyone else and God gave you everything you have now. You stand on your two feet and you're, and you're, you know, you're a big person now and you think you're all that. Remember where you came from, remember who gave you all of this. Don't forget that. So every day we're reminded, reminded. We, do, we give charity. Fight. For all the wealth God gave us, small portion we give to those who are less fortunate than us. In the month of Ramadan, which is a fasting, we fast during the daylight hours. We say, look, this thing, I'm doing this for your sake. No one can see me. I'm, I'm going to stay away from food and water for your sake. Because you told me to do something, I submit to that. I submit to that. And obviously those who are less fortunate, we can empathize with them as well. You know, the hunger that they go through, we feel that and we think, and you, know the, you don't know the blessing or something until you lose it. So, you're, so it reminds you of that. And obviously, if you're able to, you go to Mecca with Abraham. He built the first place of worship. Okay, and Adam before him. And he built that place of worship. And if you can, you make that journey. And that also is a means of forgiving your sins. So all of these things. Yeah. But the first step, which is, is the Shahada. We're saying uh, entering the fold of Islam. Every person, every single Muslim is guaranteed to enter paradise. Every single Muslim is guaranteed to enter paradise. Some, of course, God is just and we'll be held accountable for our actions. Okay. And if we've repented for our sins, it's like we've never done those sins. If we do good, it will wipe, wipe away an evil like this. Okay. So justice and love of Allah. Okay. But every Muslim will enter into paradise. And the key to paradise is this statement, the Shahada. And we can do that now. You ready for it? Yeah? Okay, so we'll do it in, uh, in Arabic and then in English. Okay? Uh, I'll say it nice and slowly as well. It's be spoken and you repeat after me. Okay? In Arabic. Okay, just to confirm, there's nothing, there's nothing, no one forcing you to do this. It's of your free will. Okay. You say, Ashhadu. An. La. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Wa ashhadu Wa ashhadu Anna Muhammadan Rasul Allah Allahu Akbar Now I will uh, translate this for you You've become a Muslim, you've entered the fold of Islam I'll translate it for you And I'll say it in English and you repeat after me I bear witness That there is no one Worthy of worship Except Allah in truth, and I bear witness 
that Muhammad, peace be upon him, is his last and final messenger. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Welcome to Islam, bro. Welcome to Islam. You join the family of 1.9 billion Muslims, and this brother right here is going to take care of you. And we're going to, we're going to take your number, Mashallah. Abu Talha. Sorry to interrupt, the brother is just taking shahada, mashallah. Why is it? No, mashallah. This brother here, mashallah, mashallah. Welcome to Islam, brother. Mashallah. When... Alhamdulillah. We're big on hugs when on the, on the, on the shahada, mashallah. So we'll take, your, we'll take your number, okay? We will, uh, I'll send you some uh, links on Salah, etc. Brother, what's your name? Vincent. Vincent. Are you Muslim as well? No, my sister is Muslim. Okay, mashallah. Vincent, what's up? I fast and I'm Muslim. Mashallah. I do fast. Okay, okay, I thought you I thought you were Muslim because I think you took the I read the Bible, I read the Bible, I read the Quran. Okay. Vincent, I'm, I'm now saying that. I actually done it with you. When you say you say it, would you mind that? Because you have to do it as an individual. Yeah, do it. I'll do, I'll, do, I'll do it with you, inshallah. inshallah. You guys taking shahada together. Enter the font of Islam, inshallah. The best decision. Okay, inshallah. So, again, same thing. I'll do it with you, inshallah. No pressure. No one. No one's forcing you. Yeah. You say ashhadu an la ilaha illa Allah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasul Allah. Allahu Akbar. Now, in English, I bear witness. That there is no one worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his last and final messenger. Allahu Akbar, mashaAllah.